What's up my friends, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is not going to be about a new cocktail, it's going to be about a new game-changing technique. I feel this one as all it takes to revolutionize one part of our industry. Whether you are a home mixologist or a pro bartender, this will save you money, reduce wastage, and there's no compromise on the quality. In this little 50ml bottle here, I have enough sauce to garnish at least 150 cocktails with citrus aroma. And as I told you, no compromise on the quality, it smells as good if not even better than fresh citruses. And if I take the average cost to make this, compared to the average cost of one citrus, this will cost you at least three to four times cheaper to garnish your cocktail with this sauce. So if money is important to you, if reducing wastage is important to you as well, and if you don't want to compromise on quality, stick around, this video is for you. So if you guys are ready, let's go. Okay, so if you've been crafting cocktails for some time, this situation undoubtedly occurred multiple times. You grab an orange to garnish a couple of old fashions, return the orange to the fridge, reassuring yourself that you will use it later for juice. But deep down, you know it's a lie, but somehow it eases your conscience. But before you know it, the orange spoils, leading you to discard it. It stings and you tell yourself you will do better next time, but you never actually do. The amount of citrus I have witnessed being wasted in bars and restaurants for the same reason is astonishing. This has always been a problem I wanted to solve, but due to lack of knowledge and resources, it took me an incredibly long time. But now I am thrilled to announce that with the help of a friend, we finally found a solution. In this small bottle right here, there's enough sauce, that's how I like to call it, to garnish at the very least 150 cocktails. There's no compromise on the fragrance and the process is is surprisingly simple. Let's put it that way, if you can make a basic old fashion, you can easily make this. Also, as I mentioned before, this is significantly cheaper than using fresh citruses, which makes of this technique a game changer for both home and professional bartenders. So let's get rid of our spoiled citrus and let's dive right into it. To be completely honest, this is something that already exists on the market. The first time I came across an orange spray garnish for cocktails was when I made a video sponsored by Shaker and Spoon. And in my box, there was a little three mils spray bottle with orange aroma. And I was really impressed by it. It had that nice oily viscosity. The fragrance was really natural. It was quite intense. It was decently intense. And that's when I had the idea to try to make one myself to share with you guys and also eventually maybe to replace fresh citruses for garnishes. So all that to say, I made a lot of tests to make one formula of my own to make an orange spray garnish. I infused dried or fresh orange peels in high proof spirit. I tried to vaporize that on top of my cocktail, but it was way too volatile. It didn't have the oily viscosity that I wanted. And then I realized that on the website of Shake and spoon, you can buy that orange essence. Surprisingly enough, they also share the ingredients in their formula. And it's very simple. There's only two ingredients, orange essential oils and MCT coconut oil, which is kind of a unfragrant modified oil that blends well with the essential oil, making it stable. But I discovered this information only after I got in touch with the man who helped me, or should I say who created pretty much all by himself, the enhanced formula for the citrus spray, Darcy O'Neill from the channel Art of Drinks. Besides this channel, which is very interesting, by the way, a real Bible for this kind of stuff, so I highly recommend you go and subscribe if you're into this. Darcy, to give you a quick background, has been writing about cocktails since 2004. He studied chemistry, worked in research labs for 15 years, and also he's been nominated for Best Cocktail Author and Best New Cocktail Book at Tales of the Cocktail in 2011. So he really knows what he's talking about and when I reached out to him with my idea I was not able to succeed with, he was like, yeah, that doesn't seem too complicated, just give me a couple of days and I'll get back to you. Which he did with a great formula, working even better than a mix of essential oil with MCT coconut oil. I'm gonna tell you why later, but now let's get to the core of this. What you're gonna need to make this formula is only three ingredients. Orange or citrus essential oils, high proof spirit at 95% of alcohol, 
and propylene glycol. Before we start messing around with the ingredients, before we talk about the formula and how to make it, there's one important thing I need to mention about each ingredient. The orange essential oil, and that counts for any essential oils for that matter, needs to be grass, which means generally recognized as safe. Darcy has a really nice video about this. I'm going to link it in the description below. But basically, there's just some basic rules you need to follow if you don't want to poison yourself with essential oils. But don't worry, it's not dangerous. It's not going to happen if you use a grass essential oil at the proper amount. Next, the propylene glycol needs to be USP. That means that's going to be food grade. So you need to look for the label USP to be sure you can ingest that thing. Lastly, the alcohol needs to be 95% of alcohol because the orange oil has a very high level of terpene which is really hard to dissolve. So the high proof spirit at 95% will help your solution to be stable. If you look at this one for example, it's my lemon formula. I made it about a month ago and it's still very well homogenized. So now let's start making the recipe and I'm going to give you the specs for if you're starting with a bottle of 10 ml of essential oils. That's the size most of the small bottles comes in when you purchase the essential oil online. So I think that's going to be really useful for most of you. But keep in mind, if you want to make larger batches, you simply really multiply the amount of all three ingredients by the same ratio, period. So we're going to start with 10 ml of our essential oil. Here I'm using sweet orange because that's really the one that's going to smell like if you're expressing a fresh orange zest over your cocktail. I'm going to set that aside in a suitable bottle because we're going to need to shake that afterward. Then I'm going to measure 20 ml of propylene glycol, pour that over the essential oil, and then I'm going to measure 36.5 ml of high proof 95% alcohol. At this point, before we mix the alcohol, look at the mix of essential oil with propylene glycol. It's really not blending together. We need something to dissolve these two ingredients together, and that's why we're using such a high proof spirit. We're going to pour the alcohol in that, we're going to shake it, and then we're going to have something homogenized and stable. At first, it's going to be cloudy, but if you leave it resting for about 24 hours, you will see it's going to clear up really nicely, like the lemon aroma I'm adding right here. Now, all you have to do is to pour that in spray bottles. If you like these ones, I really do. I'm gonna link them in the description below. Lastly, if you make more than one, like I did here with the lemon aroma, you're gonna label them and that's it. That's how we make the sauce. Now, if you're wondering why this formula is enhanced compared to the one using only essential oil and MCT oil, which I tried, by the way, as you can see, I bought a bottle. I saw a huge difference, but I didn't understand why. So I asked Darcy and here's what he had to say on the topic. MCT oil holds the orange oil, whereas the alcohol releases the orange oil aroma and it has to do with vapor pressure. It's just like perfume where you want a steady release of aroma compounds and the propylene glycol is the fixative that will allow that. So using alcohol and propylene glycol in that formula will help to release more compounds and because the propylene glycol is a fixative, it will release the compounds steadily for a longer lasting aroma. In other words, the MCD oil will dull down the aroma while these two ingredients will enhance them. Also, the reason you get a nice oil float is because of the propylene glycol oil mixture. The propylene glycol and essential oil float and slowly release the aroma. Now, to compare the cost of this formula to fresh citruses, I base myself on very basic data. The average cost of an orange in the US with the average cost of the other three ingredients. To generate a proper aroma on a cocktail using this formula, you're gonna need two to three sprays. And usually a spray bottle like this will make a spray of one tenth or one fifteen of a mil. So the cost of this will be about three to four cents for one cocktail. On the other hand, if you take the average cost of an orange in the US, if you consider that you make about five cocktails with one orange, that's gonna be roughly about 12 cents per cocktail using fresh citruses. So it's three to four times cheaper using this formula. So my friends, if you're sick of wasting your zested citruses, go ahead and give that formula a try and let me know what you think about it. Don't forget to pay RC a visit on YouTube. I'm gonna link his channel in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you go to turn that bell if you want to make sure not to miss the next video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Ciao.